All right. Now we are going to talk about test data for Apex tests, creating them, creating them using a factory class. So what is a factory? You know, a factory, a fa factory produces something, right? If it's a car factory, it produces car. If a chocolate factory, it produces chocolates. If it's a chips factory, it produces chips <laughs> and so on. So a factory produces something that we want the factory to produce. So in this particular trail, we are going to add what is called a test data factory. A test data factory, what would it create? Test data, right? So why would we need a factory to create test data? So let me refer back to the previous trail a bit here. For example, um, if we go back here, for example, Now, we have a test here. This test consists of several lines of code, which is a big chunk in this example, right? The main function of this code is to create test data. So the next test class you are creating, you would need to, to somehow rewrite the same code again, right? Even if you create different object, you create different object, maybe you create contact test data or test records. But the point is you will be writing the same code over and over and over and over again to perform tests. So we don't want that. We don't need that because it will be a waste, right? A waste of time a waste of your typing, a waste of resources, and so on. So we don't want to keep doing or writing the same lines of code to create, you know, this test account or this test opportunities. So when you want to create a new test class, for example, a whole new test class, you would need to create a code to create the test data all over again, right? Why not create a factory just to do that. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to flip back to our current trail here. So task data factory its job is to create whatever we want to produce or create. For this example, public class test data factory. That's the class name. The class name will have methods. This is the first method and the only method that is in this class, it's called create accounts with ops, right? And then you pass in, you pass in how many accounts you want to create. And for each of those accounts, how many opportunities do you want that account to have, all right? So this is just one method. You can create more methods here on your task data factory. What if it's creating contacts? What if it's creating cases? What if it's creating tasks? Or whatever object you want to create test data for. Okay, you get the drift here. So on this method, it's a public method. It's static and its data type is the list of account. Okay, so basically you go First, create a variable, which is a list of accounts, ACCTS or accounts. is a new list of account instantiated, so it's now available for you to use. Now, for integer, this is a loop. This whole is a loop, right? How many number of accounts you want to create? You pass one or three or a hundred or two hundred accounts. Then it will loop from zero to that number of accounts. It's going to loop and it's going to add this new account here to the list, bulkify. So it's going to be bulk transaction, right? And then it's going to insert the accounts in one go, in one transaction, one DML transaction. It's going to insert the accounts, okay? 
And then we are going to create the opportunities. First, create the list of the opportunities, right? List of opportunity, Make let's name it OPS or OPPS and instantiate it, new list of opportunity. Now this is available. Now we do the same loop from, now it's a number of accounts, we loop of the number of accounts, but then we do another loop. So loop within a loop. We create an opportunity for each account. How many opportunities? How many ever is passed on through this parameter here, right? So if it's five, it's gonna look five times and create five opportunities for each account. And then it's going to insert that um, into this list, OPPS, and execute one DML transaction. Bam, you're done. So two DML transactions is create, uh, it's, um, it's within this whole method, only two DML transactions. It's pretty efficient, all right? So that's pretty much it. Let's first do this then, okay? We are going to create a task data factory class. I'm going to go to my playground here, hands on orgs, go to my developer beginner playground and I'm going to launch my developer console. All right, here we go, developer console. And we are going to create a new class. This is from our previous one. I'm gonna close, close. And what is the name of the class again? Task data, uh, let me scroll down here. Task data factory class. Okay, flip back to here. File, new, Apex class, test data factory. Okay, we have the shell. I'm going to copy this code here and paste it. So I have explained that from the trailhead, so I won't explain it again over here. I'm going to save this, okay? Saving until the start is gone. Now it's saved. Flip back. Okay, what's next? Okay, next is we are going to use this utility class from a previous test class we have, right? We have a test class which is called test data deletion. All right, let's open that class first. Test data deletion. So file, open, open. Uh, let's do resource. Test data deletion. Well, we have test account deletion. Let's flip back here. Yeah. That's right, test account deletion, right? Test account deletion. So I'm gonna open my test account deletion here. So this is from the previous trail. So if you are following just the previous videos, it's gonna be fresh, right? So on this code, look at this. We are inserting an account and then we are inserting an opportunity like this, right? So instead of using this code here, we can just use our factory class and do it like that. So, so here's a modified test, um, test method, a shorter version. So basically, that whole line is just being replaced with this line, okay? So if I'm going to copy this, this whole thing here, right? We can just paste. Now, accounts, which is a, an array of account object, test data factory, Create accounts with ops. Create one account and create one opportunity. We have a problem. Let's see what we have here. Oh, variable does not exist. ACCT. Where was it? Oh, here. Because it's a database dot delete. We are deleting this. Well, let's delete that then. ACCTS. Let's flip back here. Oh yeah, because it, it is an array, we have to put the first element, because that's the only element, we are going to do that, okay? The first element of the array, because we are just inserting one, just one, so the first one, try and delete that. I'm gonna save that, right? 
So we are saving a few lines of code, but if you get to write, wait, what? Um, illegal assignment from list to database dot delete result. Oh, we need to change that to, let's see here. Database dot delete result equals result. Well, this looks right, right? If I copy that, now it's gone. It's playing tricks on me, right? It looks right because now it's problem is gone, of course. All right, so sometimes the problems pop up um, when you're actually um, done coding, but it has a bit of a lag. So it, it still says there's an error while it's actually been fixed. So we're actually good there. So if I run the test, it will run just like before with uh, fewer uh, lines of code because we are using the task data factory there, right? So all is passed there. Okay, so flip back to the trail. Testing for different conditions. So we can also copy this code. Basically, it's trying all kinds of scenario. So I'm going to copy that and paste it all here. Boom, and save it again. So on this test method, test delete account with one opportunity. It's passing one account, one opportunity, right? It's, it's going to create one account with one opportunity. But then we want to try test delete account with no opportunities to create one account with zero opportunity. Will that work, right? And then test delete bulk accounts with one opportunity. So create 200 accounts, 200 accounts at once with one opportunity for each account, all right? The last one is test delete bulk action, uh, bulk accounts with no opportunity. So create 200 accounts with no opportunity. So basically we are asserting all of that and we want every possible scenario to be passed or tested. So I actually already saved that. I'm gonna run the test again now. And let's see, it should be fine. As you can see, everything good. All four methods passed. And if I flip here, account relation code, it's still 100% code coverage, okay? All right, so what else? Uh, let's flip back to our trail. We have tested that. That's pretty much it. And now we are going to do the hands-on challenge, but we are going to do it on a separate video. So I'll see you on the next video for this challenge. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.